Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I thought I thought we came in with with a good purpose today. Um, from the get go, um, obviously took us a little while to get going, and and I think Zimmerman had a big deal to do with that. I thought he threw the ball really well, and then, um, you know, and then Guardy really lit a fire for us there, and and we were able to put up a big inning, and then continue to fight a after we gave back the lead. Um, so I don't know. I I just thought the guys really rallied today, and um, you know, played a played a really clean game overall. Could you explain? what your issue was because you got pretty animated out there. We've never seen you like that in your role as a Yankee manager, at least. <laughs> I, I just had some issue with the zone um, on, a, on a couple pitches, key pitches that I felt like, you know, were missed and I took exception to it. And, um, you know, I, I guess he had heard enough. Where were you watching from when the the explosion occurs in the sixth inning and your and your guys come back with? Three I, I was runs? I was down in the in the video room watching, so it was it was good to see. How about Glaber Torres and the hitter he has been? Obviously, he was this guy at the beginning of the season, but the hitter he's been recently much more comfortable, much more disciplined, and obviously taking advantage of a hanging slider there. Yeah, I mean, more really good at bats from him tonight. The 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 at bat before against Coleman, who's really tough on righties, the three two pitch he's able to go the other way with, and then pound one to left there. Um, you know, he's a really good hitter. He went through a tough stretch there, but you know, like we've seen him and all our young guys really b been able to make adjustments, and he's gotten himself back to a, to a good place um, in the box, and and he's starting to string together a lot of big at bats for us now. And you've talked about Severino recently and seeing signs and yeah. hoping all those signs would come together at once. How would you evaluate what you saw from him tonight? Good. Um, I thought he was. I thought he was really good. Another positive step. You know, not all together for him yet to where he's the dominant dude we know he is. But I mean, he racked up a ton of strike up, strikeouts. Obviously, I thought he commanded the zone well. I thought the slider, which was slow to come around tonight. Uh, really in the second half of his start, we started to see it. I thought he, he implemented his changeup really well early, threw a lot of changeups, I think got a couple strikeouts early with it. Um, so another – and, you know, he didn't have the same electric fastball that he had in Baltimore in his last start, but um, I thought he really pitched tonight and, uh, and gave us, you know, for as much as we talk about his struggles, it was probably the third time in a row he's given us a strong start. So um, – you know, he continues to to build momentum and uh, get get back to the guy he was for really, you know, his first 15, 20 starts. George, to the right. Aaron, were you trying to stay away from Dylan? And at what point would have you brought him in? Um, you know, if, if we would have run Robbie's count up there and, and maybe we needed a strikeout or something, uh, it, it would have been a situation where we brought him in. But we were going into tonight going to try as best we could to stay away from them but you know obviously if we got into a situation as as we showed you know they got them up so um but yeah initially we're we're kind of trying to stay away yeah yeah just over 30 last night um yeah we just felt like it, it, we were going to try tonight wally Aaron, back to the argument for a second, which was a big highlight of the game. It seemed like the bill of your cap hit the umpire at one point. Was that uh, were you ejected at that point, or was it something you said afterward? No, he ejected me for, from from the bench. Yeah, so I did you make contact with him, and even inadvertently? No, I don't think so. Brian. Aaron, when you go into the catcher's crouch there, what is the point that you're trying to make? What uh, what kind of discussion is going on there? I was just – I hadn't stretched yet tonight, so I just wanted to make sure I was good and loose. So um, I was just, I don't know, I guess giving my kids something to make fun of me about. Right here in the middle. Aaron, Zach just didn't seem like he was getting much bite on his fastball. When he has outings like this where whether it's his command or the fastball just isn't sinking, is that does that make you a little nervous to use him in a big game just because that pitch is so hard for him to control? Um, no, because I feel like he, for the most part he's been building momentum. Now, obviously tonight he struggled a little bit with the command of that that pitch. Um, and and when, when he did get hit, he left it up and doesn't have that movement on it. So... Um, 
I feel like we're seeing a lot of signs, especially the last several outings before this one, to where he's starting to dial it in. And, again, we're seeing the stuff come out properly. Again, just trying to build them, build them, build them to be, you know, the Zach Britton we've seen throughout his career. So, um, you know, I credit Tigers for being able the discipline to lay off pitches. Um, but, and then the one Victor hit that almost – was in the dirt so the stuff is there i think it's just really zeroing in his sights and and getting into that good rhythm to where i think he'll he'll be that dynamic guy we've, we've seen throughout his career anthony to the right aaron uh you, if you were in the video room did you see the voight um check swing and did you think they might have missed that one garden i seem to think so uh the walk yeah oh no, i thought it was uh it was good at bat Worked the walk there and and set up set up labor nice. 